Hello and welcome to Pabli Connect. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Pabli Connect Manager's webhook feature to get details and updates of your own Pabli Connect account in one of your workflows. So using this feature guys, you can get the new workflow errors which you face on your Pabli Connect account. Other than this, you can also you get the task usage limit of your own Pabli Connect account. So how it is done? Let's have a look on them first. Let's create a workflow. Name this workflow as Pabli Connect Manager and click on create. After this, here in our workflow in trigger window, search for Pabli Connect Manager. And then after selecting Pabli Connect Manager, in trigger event, you can see three different trigger events right now. So first one is to new workflow error. So if you want to get the error notification or error details of your workflows of your Pabli Connect account, then you can select this trigger. The second one we have is the task usage limit. So it triggers when a, the task usage limit is reached to a specific person. So while setting up this trigger, while setting up this webhook URL in your Pabli Connect account, you can set up a task usage percentage. And whenever your Pabli Connect account will consume that many percentage of your task quota, it will send a notification or details on this workflow on this webhook URL. And the last one is task usage limit exhausted. That whenever you exhaust your public connect accounts task usage limit, your task quota, it will get a notification. So right now, let's select new workflow error as the trigger event. Let's select this event. And then after this, public connect workflow basically gave us a webhook URL. Now let's copy this webhook URL and we have to add the same webhook URL into our own public connect account. Just go to the settings page of our public connect account and here go to API and webhooks. After this guys, just scroll down and click on this add webhook button. Here in this dialog box, it is asking us to name it. For example, let's name this webhook URL. Then let's paste this webhook URL over here. And in the drop down, you have to select the event. You can see the same three events. We want to set up this webhook URL for a new workflow error. Just select your event for which you are setting up this automation workflow and click on add webhook. After this, you will see that the webhook URL has been added in your Pavli Clinic account. Right now it is inactive, but by clicking on this three dots button and select mark as active, it will be activated. Your webhook URL will be activated. And whenever you are going to see a new error in any of your automation workflows in your Pavli Connect account, using this webhook URL, you will get the details over here in Pavli Connect. And yes, here in Pavli Connect, as we have activated it, we have received a test response in our workflow. So in this workflow, you can see that this is the name of the workflow in which we have pasted an error. After this, we have the workflow URL, the URL of that workflow. We have the task ID, task history ID. We have the name of the folder. We have the details of the error, what we have received and other details for the same error. So in this way, whenever you receive a new error in one of your automation workflow in your Pabli Connect, using this feature of Pabli Connect Webhook, you can get these details in the workflow. After this, you can basically set up this automation workflow further in action step. You can you get the notifications of these errors on your WhatsApp, SMS, or update your team members on Slack, Discord, or any of the application of your choice. Now guys, in this way, you can set up the webhook URL and get the updates. So we have seen how this trigger event of new workflow error works, but we have other two trigger events as well. And the second one was task usage limit reach. So guys, while adding this webhook URL in your Pabli Connect account, we have to select the event. And after adding it here in webhook event, when you select this task usage limit reach option, here you get another field of monthly task usage reach. So here guys, you just have to enter the percentage that after consuming how much percentage of your monthly tasks, you want to get the data, we want to get the notification. Just enter it. For example, I enter 75%, then add the webhook. So when my Pavli Connect account will consume 75% of my monthly task quota, then this data will be sent, this notification will be sent to our Pavli Connect workflow. And then further, this workflow will be triggered, executed, and you can get notification anywhere of your choice by adding that application in the action event. So in this way, guys, this Pavli Connect manager basically works and using this guys, using this, you can add the webhook URL into your own Pavli Connect account and get the updates and set up your automation workflows for your Pavli Connect accounts as well. So this is it for today's video, guys. Thank you. Have a great day.